In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to put an animated GIF in the background right here. Okay, So basically, let's just go ahead and take a look at an email template that has this animated GIF in the back. So I'm going to click on Edit with Content Designer. <clears throat> Right, once I'm inside the editor, um, you'll notice if I hover my mouse over this area right here, this is an image, <coughs> excuse me, this is text, 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 all right, so it looks like um, if I scroll over to this side, you'll notice after I get out here, it, there, it shows up as a row. So you can see where it says row right above my cursor right there. Okay. So if I'm inside here, this is the content. If I go outside this box, then we get into the row. So you can see where it's kind of broken up. All right. And you'll see this whenever I kind of build out um, one just to kind of show as an example. So if I click on the outside of this one to where it brings out the row, so you'll see how over here, like if I click here, it's content because this is inside the content. If I go outside this box and I click on row, then it switches to row. And then here's the row properties. You can see the row background color is transparent. The content background color is also transparent. Okay. Um, that way you can see through it. So basically you have text and then you see through this background right here and you can see um, the fireworks. And then you'll see row background image, which um, is the fireworks bursting. And so basically, if I highlight this URL right here, and I right click and I copy it, then I go up here to a new uh, web browser tab, and I paste in that URL, hit enter, then you can see the image right here. It's just the fireworks. So we'll go back, <clears throat> and it says, but one thing you want to note says note that background images are not compatible with all email programs. When not supported, the row background color will be used instead. So make sure that the color works well with your content. So the row background color is transparent on this particular one. And then column background transparent. So you kind of play around with uh, these options, but I just wanted to kind of show you that Whenever you click inside, it goes to content. If you go outside the content area to the row and you click on the row, then this goes from content to row. There you go, you saw it go to content to rows. And if I wanna go back to content, I click and then it'll go from row to content. All right. And then if you go to settings, you can see that the background color, the, the complete background, the very, very background is black, okay? All right, so now that I showed you that, let's go ahead and take a look at a new one. So let's go ahead and get out of here. And from the home page, we are in the email template area. I click on email template. And I'm gonna do add email template right here. So add email template. I'm gonna go to the advanced editor click on it and we'll just do uh, animated GIF example create and start editing and right now you're just gonna have a blank slate basically okay so if I want to I go to settings right here and um, I go to the background color right here which is white currently and I could just click on this and I could change it to black so now you see that it is black I want to put the content right here. I can uh, click and drag a text right here. And right here, I could put something like Happy New here. And then I could double click. And right over here is the text color. So if I want to, I can click on this. And I can move this little thing over here and change it to red. All right, you see it changed to red over here. Um, you could also highlight it and you could also change the font color over here to red if you like. All right, and then I wanted to make this a lot bigger. So I'll make it 80 pixels. That's too big. Let's cut it down to 50. All right, 
and then I want to center this up. All right, so now you can see Happy New Year. I could bolden it up if I like. Whatever you want to do on there. Then next, let's go ahead and do that row that we were talking about earlier. So if I click on row, and then I click and drag this single row over. Now I could break this up into two different rows, or two different columns. With So I could take this row over here, and I'm going to drag it. And then again, remember we set the um, the settings as black, so that's here. So I'm going to go rows, all right? And if I want to click on this um, and say, hey, I want something to be in this particular row, and then right here, row background image, because remember, on here. Click on row background image. Um, now, there's different ways of getting animated uh, GIFs, animated GIFs, whatever you want to call it, they're GIFs. Um, you could go to Clipply. And if you go to Clipply, all right, and it says royalty free uh, GIFs. All right, and then you can do all kinds of different things. If you get celebration, right here's a fireworks one. Now this is Clipply.co, and so you could download a free one, but it's very limited in size. And then right here you could purchase it for nine dollars. Okay. Um, and you could look up, you know, free animated GIFs, things like that. So um, let me go ahead and just, I'm going to grab one off Google just for the sake of time. So I'm gonna, just going to go uh, fireworks, fireworks animated GIF. All right, and then I'm just going to open up the images. And let's take a look at this one. All right, that's pretty cool. So I'm going to click. I want to right click, and then save image as. And fireworks. Save. All right. So I'm going to go back here, and then right here, I'm just going to say, okay, I want the row background image. I want to change the image. So I'm going to click change image. I'm going to upload. There's my fireworks GIF. It's going to upload it into the file manager right here. Once I do that, I'm going to hit insert. And then back here, you'll see that the fireworks are displaying. So right here, I'm going to put content. And for the sake of it, let's just go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and click on this. And I'm going to duplicate it. So duplicate. Now I'm just going to move it down into this area right here. All right, and then maybe I could put, you know, Happy New Year 2021. Delete. And of course, as you keep hitting enter, it's going to, because this this thing is a certain size basically. So that's how you get some of it to display. If it's not displaying the whole thing, that's why. So. Um, Happy New Year 2021 from your real estate team in Lakeland, Florida. All right. And, of course, we could go ahead and take this up now. All right. And if you want, you can decrease that size. 16, Ooh, that's too small, let's do 24, still too small, and let's do 38, and that's a little bit better. And maybe I want to take this out and go put this up here, Happy New Year 2021. And what you could do is, because it's not displaying the, um, 
it's not displaying the bottom part where the bridge is. I can hit enter, enter, and just hit enter and create spacing and stuff like that. That's how you get it to kind of show up right there. And right here, if I want to create another row, drop it in here, and you continue building down through here. And then if you want to, you could put, you know, another image right here. And you can drop a Keller Williams or whatever it may be. Just go ahead and hit delete. But th that's how you add an animated GIF to. Um, and a lot of, I know a lot of times, uh, I know a lot of times people are kind of, uh, they don't know whether it's GIF or GIFs. Um, here's a website, and if you go to help frequently asked questions, and let's see here, how do you pronounce G F Y cat? And basically, if you get down there, how do you pronounce giraffe? So G J gypsum, Jim, gist, gin. So it's called a soft G, kind of like GIF, like the peanut butter, but Jiffy Cat, so this is what this is. So if you're kind of wondering whether it's GIF or GIF, it's just the same as Giraffe, Gypsum, Gym, Gist, or Gin. So uh, just kind of a thing here. Let me go ahead and just delete that out of here. And then after you get all, you know, as you build it down there, uh, you want to make sure you hit Save Changes, and then Done Editing, and then you could hit Save. There you go.